Hello YouTube, this is Miami CO Indiana. It's September 6, 2012 as we're closing out the summer season, moving into fall. I thought I'd give you a last look at the garden before Mr. Jack Frost gets it. This is in the back of my house. I'll be showing you my tomato plants here first. These tomato plants have become enormous this year. About six foot tall. Let me get back so you can get a view here. This is four tomato plants. There are two left, two on the right, both in cages, which you can't even see anymore. And let me go to the other side. I'll show you. I even tried to stake them. They were falling over. And you can see the stakes bending from the weight of these plants. These plants just became enormous. These are big boys. Probably have gotten about 50 or more tomatoes from them as you see. More tomatoes definitely will be able to pick here soon. Now tomato plants are a plant as soon as the first frost hits they are done. You can pick what's left take them in and they will turn but the plants will not produce any more after the first frost. So those are the gigantic tomato plants. Right along there hostas plants along the side of the shed and I'm going to show you my perennial garden. First just a few flowers around the garage area. And this is my perennial garden that I put in this year so this is the first year for these plants. Uh, these are black-eyed Susans, very easy to grow. They do prefer full sun, bloom all summer long. These are perennials, so they come up each year. Going down the line here, these purple ones you see here are called geranium rosans. They are the geranium family. These are also perennial plants that will come back each year. They have literally bloomed all summer long. There's another one over there. The plant right there in the middle there, that is a peony that blooms only in the spring around Memorial Day, which is also another perennial. Moving along up here, the ones you see there with the yellow flowers, Coriopis. This is the creme brulee variety. There's two plants there. I've also found that these plants bloom all summer long. Getting a little less blooming here at the end of the summer, going into the fall season. And right in front of it here, that is a different variety, also from the Coriopis family called Baby Sun. I have found that it blooms, it goes dormant for a while, then reblooms. So it's not a constant bloomer, but it's kind of a pretty plant. We got salvia here in the front. You can see a butterfly there. If you like butterflies, this is a great choice for your garden. And it has nice purple flowers on top. They're like flumes. A little butterfly enjoying it. These really attract butterflies though. And moving on in the back here, these are Arizona Suns also perennials bloom all summer and fall again these were planted for the first time this year now, the yellow one you see there to the left is a marigold that is not a perennial but the Arizona suns there which are the big orange flowers those plants that is one plant and I'm telling you it blooms all summer long so this is the perennial garden in the back of my house. I'm going to give you a long shot of it here. Really easy to grow, very low water requirements. All I did was plant them, put mulch around it about three inches thick, and they go to town. You see another butterfly, maybe the same butterfly just flying around. 
And that is the perennial garden. Now we'll go take a look at the annual garden that's in the front of my house. We'll take a walk back there. Excuse my messy in between the houses. Nothing gross here but weeds, really. And we're at the front of the house. These are all impatience. These are all in container pots. Approximately 20 containers of impatience. The lighter ones you see here in the front, lavender. And the brighter ones you see in the background are pink and also violet mixed in. Let me give you a view from over here. On the street lots of traffic so this is all annuals which means it has to be planted every year these are all in containers nothing's put in the ground here I just find impatience really grow really good in containers we can take a close-up of some of them here that is the violet color These are the pinks. Another container of violet. And those would be the lavenders that I have in the front. I always say when you're picking flowers, pick the colors you like because it's going to be your garden. That is the impatient garden. These are annuals. Again, these need to be planted every year. They only last one season. The ones you saw in the back are perennials, which mean they will come back each year, hopefully, anyhow. Backing up here, give you kind of an overview. I think this is the best shot over here where you can really see the masses of them together there. See how I'm glad you stopped by. Hope you enjoyed looking at the end of the season 2012, the perennial garden and also the annual garden. This is Miami CO Indiana. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. So long.